Okay, so let's go to the root of our project and we'll create a little utility. So in there, I'm actually going to create a little folder called utility. And in here, we can put any little utility helpers, any um, little command programs, stuff like that. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. So utility and then uh, I'm going to call this create user. So just create a normal PHP file called create uh, user. It's not a class, it's just a normal PHP file. And what this is, is we're going to execute some PHP from the command line, which, um, which runs this script. And this script, what it's going to do is create a user entity, set a username, set a password, and then using uh, Doctrine or ORM or using the entity manager from Doctrine ORM, we're going to persist that to the database. And then we'll go over to the database and just check that everything has worked okay. So, first things we need to do, we need to require our bootstrap file because we can't use the entity manager without that, so we shall require it once. Now, uh, I'm going to actually run this, whenever I run these utility files, I'm going to run them from the project, project root. So that means uh, I'm not going to do this kind of thing where I'm going up and looking for the bootstrap file. I'm just going to, because I'll be running it from the project root, uh, I'm just going to put, uh, I'm just going to write it like this. Okay, and so we're going to provide some arguments to this little um, command line script. So it'll be PHP, create user, and then we need to supply a username and a password in that order. So the way you can do this is you can actually unpack the arguments like this. The first one will always be the file name, and then it will be username, and then we're gonna provide a password, and that is gonna be retrieved from argv, okay? So argv is the command line arguments uh, that are picked up when we run this script. And so uh, the first one will always be the file name um, because that's what we're going to provide first, PHP create users. Okay, so uh, in fact, before we go any further, let's actually take this for a test drive and we'll dump that out. So require once and vendor autoload.php and we're just going to use the Symfony var dumper to dump out the file name. So it will complain about something here. And we're just going to disable that inspection. Okay, let's go over to the terminal. So PHP, uh, utility, utility create user, and then we're going to provide a username. So we'll just put Gary for now and a password, pass. And we just want to see that it's working so far. Okay, so we dumped out the file name. Let's actually dump the lot out. Username, password. Okay, we'll try this again. Okay, so we know that's working. So we can now grab the username and the password and use those when we create our user entity. Okay, our next step is to create a new user. So user equals new user. And it's just like um, creating any other kind of class, even though we've um, said, okay, this is an, an entity, it's just the same as any other class. That hasn't actually changed the way that it works in any way. All it does is that metadata, it just speaks to doctrine and say, hey, treat this as an entity for your purposes only. Okay, so we now need to hash that password because uh, it's going to be in plain text, which we're just going to use a plain text password. We need to hash it in order to store it in the database for it to be secure. So, hashed password equals, and then it's um, password hash. Okay, then we need to provide the password as the first argument and then the hashing algorithm as the second argument, which in our case we're going to go with password default. And that should give us a hashed password. In fact, we'll dump it out. We'll just dump it out each step of the way so that uh, we're in total control of what we are doing and also so that you can follow uh, this lesson. Okay, so now we have a hashed password. Things are going well. 
what do we need to do next? We need to set the username and the password. So user, what am I doing? User, set username, and that will be the username, and then user, set password, and that will be the hashed password because it's the hashed password which we are saving in the database. Okay, next step. We need the entity manager. Now, we're getting it from the bootstrap file, but I'd like a bit of auto completion. So I'm going to do something a little bit strange here. I'm just going to say em equals entity manager. Okay, so a little reminder, we know we've got the entity manager available to us, because if we go and look at our bootstrap file, and in fact, bootstrap, the very last line here, we created an entity manager. We are requiring this file, which means that that variable is available to us. The only reason I'm doing this is so that I can have a bit of auto completion. So if I do this, uh, entity manager. Okay, so now when I do EM, a little menu comes up, I've got some auto completion, uh, which I'd recommend doing things like that because it's a lot of commands to remember. It's easy to type them wrong. If you have that auto completion, then all you need to do is select something from the menu and you know that it's gonna be correct. You're not gonna spend ages looking for little typos and stuff like that. And so the way this works is we choose entity manager persist, so the persist method, and all this does it just brings the object which you uh, supply as an argument under um, the entity manager's control. At this point, you're not saving anything in the database. You're just saying, hey, uh, entity manager, I'd like you to know about this object. And now the entity manager has control of that object and it's ready to perform uh, whatever you need to do with it, whether you want to um, update records, delete records, you do it all with one command. So you could have uh, a load of records which you're doing various little bits and pieces with, you're updating one, you're creating another, and then it's optimized so nothing will actually happen, no database records will be created until you call Entity Manager flush. And then Doctrine will work out the best and the most um, optimized way to actually perform those queries. So it's all pretty clever. And uh, can you imagine ty actually trying to create something like this yourself? So this is why we use third party packages and it's all a mishmash of all the best, uh, the best of all the tools that you can get from uh, Composer, etc. So Entity Manager flush, and this will now persist uh, our user in the database. And then we'll just print out a little message here at the bottom. So echo, and we're just going to say created a user with ID. And now that we've done this, we can actually get an ID back for the user. So user get ID, and it will give us the ID that it has been saved with in the database. So that's pretty cool. Let's go and test this out. So we've run it once. And I'm going to go with username of at Gary Clark Tech and password will be secret. So let's give this a go. Created user with ID one. This is looking promising. Doesn't usually always doesn't always work first time. By the way, in fact, often uh, there's usually something that you've done wrong first time. But that's not a problem. It's all part of software development. Let's give this a refresh. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So we've got, I don't mean to rearrange those then. Just gonna make a bit of space here. So we've got our hashed password, we have our username, we have the created at, so it used the current uh, date time, and it gave it an auto incrementing ID of one. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon. I release new recordings every few days Details of my schedule can be found on the community tab of my YouTube channel homepage.